Hi, welcome back again to this uh, uh, Oracle purchase order screens. So, so far we have seen entering a purchase order, uh, the purchase order header details in the line. So, we have entered two line details and now for each of the line, uh, we need to create the shipment, the shipment details. Primarily what it means is, um, so before I go into the shipment, let me uh, just uh, try to explain something about the details of this uh, purchase order. So within a purchase order, whenever we are entering a purchase order, what we have is a purchase order header, right? Uh, now for each header, there can be multiple lines, meaning uh, so when I'm when you are entering when I'm entering a purchase order on a purchase order that is being sent to a supplier, I can order multiple items, uh, uh, multiple items from that supplier. So those multiple items are each uh, represented on a on its own line. So for each for each item, I'll have a line representing that item with the quantity and the price. Now for each line or for each uh, item that I am order, uh, I'm ordering, I might have a different shipment location. So, uh, for example, when I'm ordering these uh, 100 of these black and white cartridges, I might have 50 going to New York and 50 of those going to Los Angeles. And for this color cartridge, I can have 20 going to New York, 20 going to Chicago, uh, another 20 going to Texas and another 20 going to LA offices. So I can, uh, even though all of them are, uh, we, we are ordering all of them in one line, we might have a different shipment location where we might want to send. So uh, even though I'm ordering it, uh, all of these on one purchase order, I might be sending it to different location based on the need. So I can have multiple shipment locations and then and for each shipment location, I'll have one or more multiple distributions. Now, what is the distribution? It's basically the where the cost is going to hit eventually within the organization. So, uh, uh, when let's say 50 of them are going to New York and 50 of them are going to Los Angeles the, uh, for the line number one. Now, out of the 50 that are going to New York, maybe 25 are being used by the sales department and the, 20, uh, the other 25 are being used by, uh, uh, let's say, the uh, HR department. So here, what we want to do is we want to say, now, when we are allocating the cost, so out of this uh, quantity of 100 and the price is 5, so the, the total price for this line item is 500, right? Now, out of this 500, uh, we are saying 250 goes to LA, right? Uh, 250 of the, uh, or you know, 50 or you know, the cost of 250 is being going to LA, and then the cost of 250 is going to New York. Now, um, out of this 250 cost, we are saying 50% of that goes to marketing department, right? And the other 50% is going to uh, the HR department. So 125 is charged to marketing and the other 125 is charged to the HR. So, uh, and that is what is being reflected in the distributions. And let's say out of the 250 cost that is going to LA, let's say all the 250 is going to the production department. Right. So here the, the LA is getting the quantity of 50 the marketing is getting quantity of 25 and HR is getting 25 quantity and out of which so here we have the total of 100 and if you look at the cost of those items uh, we have 250 going to production department we have uh, 125 going to marketing department another 125 going to the HR department right? so the distribution allocates the cost appropriately to that appropriate uh, cost center and department So in the in the next uh, segment, we'll see how the, the we look at the shipment screen and the uh, and the distribution screen.